Okay, YouTube. So the first thing you would do, you grab two adjustment layers. All right, the first way you can grab an adjustment layer is go down to the little tab, click New Adjustment Layer, set your settings, and there you go. Another way you can do it, you go up to File, New, Adjustment Layer, boom, set your settings, and then click OK. That's two separate ways of doing it. All right. Now, you're going to click on your bottom adjustment layer. And then go to your effects tab and type in replicate. And replicate will be up under the stylized folder. Click replicate and drag it onto the bottom adjustment layer. All right. And once you do that, it's gonna it pretty much just replicates the video over and over. And you're gonna change the count to three. All right, then the next thing you would do, go to back to your effects folder, to your effects tab, type in mirror, drag mirror onto the adjust the bottom adjustment layer. All right, now after you do that, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go over there to the reflection center. And you're going to change the Y axis to 1280. And then you're going to repeat the process again. You're going to drag another mirror. And then you're going to change this reflection angle to 90. And you're going to change the X axis to 719. And all of this does, it lines it up so it takes away the lines. All right, then you're going to add another mirror, drop it onto the bottom layer, and you're going to set this reflection angle to negative 90. And then you're going to move the x-axis to 360, and it removes the top line. Then you're going to add one more mirror, and then you're going to change this reflection angle to 180. And you're going to change the reflection center on this one to 640. And then click Enter. All right. And then, now you're going to click on the top adjustment layer. And type in Transform in the Effects tab. Yeah. And drag that right on to the top layer, or the top adjustment layer. All right. Now, once you've done that, you should have something that looks like my screen. All right. Now, you're going to go over there to the scale and click the little stopwatch to toggle animation, and it sets a keyframe. Go to the beginning of the top layer with a top adjustment layer clip and set your scale to 300. Then drag it to the end of the clip and set it to 100, back to its normal scale. Once you do that, it should zoom in. All right, now you can also adjust this by clicking to make the um, the zoom a little faster, a little slower, you can click on the scale menu and go right there to the velocity, click on each keyframe, you can ease in and ease out on each keyframe and it'll adjust it and speed it up or slow it down, however you see fit, whichever one's more to your creativeness, you know, but, and that's how you do that effect, man, it's, it's really simple, but it, it's really advanced in itself if you don't really know what you're doing.